any moment, a pipeline company can come knocking on our door and say, guess what? You thought you owned this land? You don't own this land. We're going to put a pipeline wherever we damn please. The Mountain Valley Pipeline and the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, both 42-inch high-pressure interstate pipelines, are in a race to build through the Virginias. In Roanoke tonight, the Grandin Theater showed a screening of the documentary Pipeline Fighters. The film began production in October 2014, focusing on local citizens' efforts to fight against the pipeline. The theater was near capacity this evening. I don't know that we could have filled the theater two years ago, you know, but it's happening. We, last month we filled the Lyric. 530 people came to that screening. Colmano says that he's been receiving requests to show the movie all over the state. Pipeline Fighters is a call to arms. Fracking is environmentally unsound. We privatize the profits and we socialize the damage. It just matters which company gets access to the fracked Marcellus and Utica shale fastest so they can get it into the Transco line and get it up probably significant portions to Maryland where it can be exported as liquefied natural gas. It is a spider web of fossil fuel projects mostly made for the export market. Corporations not a person. Corporations not a person. We need to get the dirty energy money out of politics. This was a highly impactful movie, mostly because all the information we seem to get about a pipeline or about pipelines or resistance seems so scattered, so individual. This movie brought it all together. Everybody should see this. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize the damage that can be done by the pipelines, especially when they explode. If this mountain is on fire, we probably cannot get off it, and we all would die. 550 mile pipeline that has the potential of an atomic bomb is a terrorist target. And it's easy to find. It's totally unprotected. It's a disaster waiting to happen and it's totally unnecessary. We have an obligation to this planet. We have an obligation to each other to care about the things in it, to care about the future in the long term. But from cradle to grave, Natural gas production is bad for the environment, for the local environment, for water, for human beings who live there. No matter what your politics are or your ideology, you need clean water and clean land. I think fracking is immoral. That's my opinion. But stealing people's land, it goes against everything that, you know, our country stands for. That's my house they want to take. Corporate America has gained much, much too much power. We are an oligopoly now, it's a practical matter. Our federal government is essentially in cahoots with big oil and big gas. The fossil fuel industry bought Congress. The National Gas Act basically empowers the federal government and the FERC to just build these things. If we build these pipelines, we will enable a doubling of natural gas production. I call it environmental predation. And I think our government ought to protect citizens from that. And they don't. Big energy needs to protect its corporate financial interests. We need to protect something much more important. Our land, our water, the very air we breathe. Pipeline Fighters movie changed my way of thinking about climate change. It changed my way of thinking about the fossil fuel industry. It changed my way of thinking about eminent domain. Uh, it, it, it'll change your way of thinking forever. It takes uh community coming together, uh, neighbors standing arm in arm. You have pipeline fighters in Nebraska and Virginia, in Minnesota, in Wisconsin, in New York and Pennsylvania. I mean, all across our country, individuals that are Republican, Democrats, independents, populist, conservatives, we're all standing together. Where we're going to have to come up with uh, almost like a border stand um, against Mountain Valley Pipeline. Oh, and so let's today remember that we are putting pressure on Governor McCullough. And we won't take it anymore. It was excellent. Really well done. I was deeply moved tonight. And the more educated we become, the better it is for us to fight against it and to be a part of the resistance.